Joe Piscopo is next on AM 970, The Answer. 727, Keith Ablo is uh, one of the uh, top docs in the country, a brilliant psychiatrist, a great guy, and kind enough to join us this early in the morning. Dr. Keith Ablo, welcome back to the show, my friend. How are you? I am well, my friend. How are you? Good. And thanks for the nice intro. You know, you are the man. Because I always, you know, me with all my personal problems, Keith, I'm just saying, you know. I'm, I'm <laughs> We're going to get them under control. I got to come up and see you, man. I, I got to see what. myself. No, no. You know what? You're so down to earth the way you uh, psychoanalyze somebody. That's, ah, thank you, buddy. You know, you're not like this elitist. You're not like an overeducated guy. And uh, Lord knows you've had schooling and you, you're the top doc in, in psychiatry, but you just deal with it in a very, uh, my favorite word, Keith, is pragmatic. Hey, and before I ask you about the crazy things that are happening in the world, Dr. Ablo, tell us about your new website. What's going on, man? So we started Res Publica, which is spelled with a V. I know, Res Publica, if you will, but with a V. Got it. You can get to it from freedomeverywhere.com. It's news, it's opinion, and it's meant to be a place that is not politically correct. So you can say what you really think, and we mm. say what we feel to be the truth about things. And we broke the news on this shooter that we thought, and I believe, we had the answer in terms of what might afflict this guy. So freedomeverywhere.com. I read something that you posted that was so brilliant. And I ah. it was about, no, it was about Vegas. And it was, and that's exactly right. And it was on that new website, which is great. Where can we go there? Because it was a brilliant article and easy to get to. And uh, this, is, this is like a uh, kind of an overview of everything in a common sense style. Yes, Keith? freedomeverywhere.com. It's so nice of okay. you to be able to uh, uh, put the word out this way, Joe. And what we're doing is we're posting insights about news of the day that aren't politically correct. That's the central thesis. And we want it to grow and grow. We know it's a journey, but that's okay. And that's where yeah. I posted my theory on the shooter. And this shooter, man. I tell you, Keith, I don't have patience with these guys. I know you deal with mental illness every day. I'm, I've had it. I'm done. This cockroach, I don't even mention his name on the air. You know, Keith, I don't even mention sure. his name. But what you said, and you were the first one to get into this, and then we got some very interesting and great feedback on Twitter in that regard. He, he Apparently, he has a mental problem, and was he on some kind of drugs? But you're calling it before the police are calling it, man. Well, well you gave me the forum. So I came on your radio show, and I said, Look, uh, until proven otherwise, this fellow was suffering with something on the autism spectrum disorder, wow. autistic spectrum wow. disorder. Now, I mean no offense. This that, is what I mean by understood. not being politically correct. Not trying to offend people who have a loved one with autism. Uh, most are peaceful, loving people who are victimized by a terrible disorder. However, it turns out, Joe, 28%, one study showed, of people who kill more than three people suffer with a disorder on the autism spectrum. Now, that doesn't mean most people wow. with autism hurt people. It means that of those who hurt multiple people a lot seem disconnected, right, from feelings, yeah. from yeah. other people yeah. by a terrible disorder. Paddock, this guy, the shooter, you didn't want to say his name, sorry about no, that, the I shooter. Yeah. Let's call him that. Okay, he wears gloves when he drives. He loves numbers and algorithms. He doesn't like playing poker with other people. He likes playing video poker, and he moves close to Las Vegas to play it all the time. Does this sound familiar? Yes, it sounds like somebody with maybe Asperger's, the autism spectrum. Wow, man. And that's amazing. So, so could he have done this himself? Why do I, I think, and not to be, a, you know, it, it, it figure out some conspiracy or anything, Keith, but he, the, all, I mean, the two windows were so separate, the, 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 the weapons. I mean, could he have done it himself? I'm thinking he had help with this. It, it's looking kind of strange. All those weapons up there, now they're changing the whole timeline of the crime, saying, well, wait, uh, the security guard, right. he was shot long before. Right, the, the actual shooting into the crowd. I don't know, but I'll tell you one conspiracy I do know about, Joe. Yeah. Everybody's getting paid from this guy while he suffers with a disorder. The brother's saying, well, he made me rich. And the girlfriend's having big deposits made into her account. And point. one of the wives before, she was married to another guy uh, at the same time. So she's making bank. The shooter's sick. He's getting madder and madder and madder, cut off. From all real emotion, I would say, there's something on the autism spectrum disorder, uh, and everybody's making bank. 
Yeah. They were all saying, well, why would we get this guy help, even if they're saying it unconsciously? Why get him help, even though he's moaning in his sleep? He wins. Yeah. He gives us dough. Hey, uh, Keith, is there a red flag that we will ever see with, with, with this sickness? Well, there is. I mean, there's so many red flags because these aren't subtle disorders. But guess what? We don't even talk to these people about this. I, you know, I know people, and I've had them in my practice, and I ask them when they have this disorder, listen, it must be tough. You're seeing people get married. You're seeing people who can hold down gainful employment. Uh, that, that's at a high level. What do you think and feel about this? Now, it's very tough for them to tap those feelings, but most often they're not even asked. We assume they are as though children. They're not. They're frustrated often, angrier and angrier adults. I mean to impugn no one, by the way, because I'm already getting, you can't believe it, the flood yeah. of emails yeah. saying, get, stop bullying people with it. I'm not bullying. Yeah. I'm just saying there's a tiny minority of these folks who really should be screened for potential violence. Yeah, of course, they're going after the guns. It's the guns, it's the guns, oh, it's the please. guns. Oh, you know, please. The it, guns. It, Give me a break, Joe. Look, you know, this was a resourceful guy. He studied and studied and studied. You don't think he could have pro uh, procured explosives yes. and done terrible, terrible yeah. things with it? Yeah, that's what they do. Now this this poor cop shot this tex in Texas Tech, this student. I mean, yeah. so you're thinking it's all a mental illness with these folks. The Democrats are saying take the guns away, but you're saying look for those red flags when somebody's mentally unstable like that. If you're close to somebody like that, you know, again, you see something, say something. Huh? Yeah, get them help. Yeah. And look, don't be afraid yes. to say, look, it, I'm not meaning to say that you would have had these thoughts, but please tell me if you do have thoughts of hurting yourself or mm. someone else. Mm. Because you know what's strange? That empathy, that connectedness, when you ask, sometimes people will say, well, I have. Yeah. Right? But you know what, Dr. Keith, before we let you go, man, it just just for a second, walk us through the mind of this 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 terrible killer. I mean, what goes through to be able to to unload that the the the, the caliber of weapons onto innocent people just at a concert, Keith? I mean, how demented. Let me let me take you through that, okay? So imagine decades of feeling outside everything, mm. not being able to figure out why do people celebrate? Why do they gather in groups? What is this thing with music? Why is everyone dancing? Why am I not wow. getting connected wow. to people? They mm. seem to take my money, but th that's it. And when I'm on the floor of these casinos, uh, they, they just interact with me in a very super... I can't connect with anyone at all. And I, for some reason, I, I, I've never had kids, and I, I don't relate to other people. I'm not hired to do anything. I'm alone here in this bubble. Numbers everywhere. Algorithms. I hate everyone. Mm. I just wish everyone would die. Wow. There you go. Wow. Okay. Keith, what's the website again, Dr. Ablo? Freedom Everywhere. Dot com. We'll be there. And Keith, always appreciate you, Jim. Fascinating. Scary, but no fascinating. Problem. Keith, uh, uh, listen, hopefully when you come to New York, me, you, and Rock Positano, I'm just saying. Let's go. Let's make it happen. I would love that, you Dr. Me, Keith. Rock, Charlie Finch, we'll all go. Yes, I would love that. Thanks, Dr. Ablo. Right, we, we love you, Keith. Thank you so much. If it's happening in New York, New Jersey, or Long Island, hear about it with Joe Piscopo. Mornings, 6 to 10 on AM 970. The Answer.